that I broke up with him. I get it. I really do. But he didn't even fight for me. Yeah, it's been two days. He didn't even call. You guys in a relationship? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're you talking. say yeah, you we're say talking. no. We are we are not. And I told him that and didn't take going any further. He agreed. He didn't even try. Women don't regret putting a man in the friend zone. They are mad that a man didn't stay there if things didn't work out with Chad. The friend zone is a place where the man is always a backup. A vetted option that women can use to validate their emotions and get some much-needed ego massage that Chad is too busy to give. A few years ago, I thought that I had it all, and there was something missing from my life. So I ended things with the guy who treated me like a princess and would have been the best husband to me. And I started chasing this feeling that was never matched. That unexplained feeling that she could do better that's called hypergamy red pill guys have been talking about it for years it's the woman's biological need to always look for the best possible mate she can find a lot of women are always looking to trade up it's biology it's psychology it's in their dna it's science it's also one of the reasons why a lot of modern women will never be truly happy it's fascinating how women have such a wide range of perspectives and ideas about nice guys. They think it's appropriate to start a family with the nice guys once they've had their fair measure of pleasure with the bad boys during their adolescence and early adulthood. Here, the good guys come with some key assumptions, which for the most part, are fairly accurate if you take a closer look. For instance, the nice guy will have checked off every item on society's fictitious checklist for successful good guys. Why do women regret leaving this type of guy? I'm about to tell you in this video. First off, it took them a while to commit to begin with. Then when they finally do commit and they're settled and they're in a relationship, and a woman decides to either end the relationship, they cheat, or they do something that betrays this type of man's trust. Essentially, when you hurt this type of guy. Ladies, there is no coming back from that. It's almost an impossibility. I'm not gonna lie, she hit the nail right on the head. A lot of women realize that they got a good man, but that's just not enough. I'm almost convinced that a lot of women out there don't want a good man. They want somebody that's toxic or somebody that got a little toxic in them. That's why I always say, always prepare for women to leave you. The name of the game is cop and blow. You never know when your girl gonna go. But make sure you follow my page if you like more game like this. When the good guy ship sails, it isn't turning around for any woman no matter how hot she thinks she is. That's the truth. It really hasn't deterred finding somebody who is serious about dating me at all. But are they good men who will stick around in the long term? Are they the kind of guys who are virtuous? You're a very attractive girl, but Thank you. you're 21 years old right now, yeah. right? Yes, you're going to find, you guys are beautiful women. You guys are going to find guys that want to marry you. Are they the kind of guys that are going to stick around? Are they the kind of guys that are solid men? Are you guys going to have good relationships that will last a long time? If a girl rejects you and friend zones, you then just leave. Be neutral. Okay, fine. That's the moment they feel lost because they realize the power they had is gone in an instant. It also signals you value yourself, which coincidentally is an attractive trait. How most entitled modern women keep losing good men. I have three kids, but two are grown and one is 13. So would I be entitled to a high value man? And I make six figures. I feel like I'm the set. To the rule. But no, I you're not. That's, that's the problem. You all think you're the exception to the rule, but but your life has proven to you that you're not. Uh, were you married to their father? Yes. Okay, but you but you're divorced now. Yes. How tall are you? Five seven. Dress size. Fourteen. Yes. If you worked at Walmart, would you be wanting the same kind of man you want now? I would be in a different mind frame. See, you may be in a different mind frame, but you'd still be in the same body. At the end of the day, man, you ladies have a disagreement with reality. So I get that you may want them, but what does he want? That's what you ladies need to ask yourself. What do the kind of men that you want want? Subscribe for more videos and music like this. Wake up. See, entitlement reveals a woman's true nature and only males with no self-esteem stay in the friend zone. It's either she likes you or not, and if not, then you don't have anything to do with her. A girl wants an assertive guy, and that's why I dated a lot and got to figure out what kind of girl I wanted in the end.
together. She's lucky because there are a lot of women in her position that messed it up with good dudes for selfish reasons because they didn't want to be controlled. They didn't see the bigger picture of being with a guy. They just knew that I didn't want that. I want more excitement. Modern women want this excitement. It's got to keep it... Uh, gotta make me tangle. Make a brother wanna say. But this is this is real life. Cause I can tell you I don't go backwards. I don't like going backwards. There's a reason why you broke up with a person. Can people change? Yes. But I also know that people when they get around you and they know you, they're gonna revert back to where they're most comfortable with you at. Might start off fine for a little bit. Once a person settles in back being comfortable with you, sometimes it's worse than it was when you started. I in relationships, if doesn't work out in the beginning, then you'll never work out in the end, and you'll waste your time fixing a broken partnership. Women are drawn to good guys because of the advantages they may provide. Women are drawn to bad guys because they offer intrigue and danger. Get back to originally where it for me it is very appropriate because this is what's the problem that's happened, right? Originally, what used to happen was all that happened was I had good promise, and your dad would come and check me. The reason why you women go into wait, 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 hold on, listen. The reason you women can't pick men. This is why you always pick the guys that 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 break your hearts and that sleep out. Wait, wait, hold on a second. I don't pick yeah. them guys that break my heart. That's well, why I've got a boyfriend. Okay, heart. you, yeah. Oh. So let's talk about all the all the the. The majority of the women that have come on this show, they keep mo moaning about the types of men that they got. Mm. But it's the men that you pick. Because you keep picking these types of men. You keep mm -hmm. Men know how to pick out the bullshit from other men. The moment we come in... Listen, every time a guy meets a mum, someone's mum, the mum loves him. Oh, he's so nice, he's so this, but he might have the worst plans for your daughter. But <laughs> he knows how to sweeten up the mum. The moment the brother, the dad sees him, they know why I'm going yeah. straight away. Us mm -hmm. men can pick out other men. Mm -hmm. So if you go and bring this guy to me, I can tell whether or not this guy's going to be a Tyrone or a Chad or a Pookie. <laughs> Attending a respectable college or university is part of this. Avoiding drugs and people who could negatively affect those around them. It also includes having lucrative businesses of their own, or being highly paid in the corporate world. And perhaps more significantly, that there will always be good guys waiting for the girl they've liked since high school, the girl they've watched fall for terrible guys one after another, to understand that their future is with the one decent person who waited for her. Little do they know. These women don't have any other option now that they're in their mid-thirties. They always knew that the good guy would be around for them. They kept flirting with him throughout high school, and even into college. They never slept with them, but they had some light intimate moments with them just to keep them around. These women could spot the good guys from a mile away, and choose one or two of them to have them around as their long-term backup. While they partied with the bad boys, and had the time of their lives, they knew that a day might come when they'd be done with the bad boys, and they might eventually need someone financially secure to settle down with. They knew that the good guy waiting in the corners of her life would be financially secure, would have a decent house and a car, and would still be in love with her to provide for her for the rest of her life. And this is why, gentlemen, these single good guys get friend-zoned for most of their lives. They become so abundantly available to the girl that they like that they are taken advantage of at all levels. These men then justify their obsession with the girl they like by telling themselves how their love for the girl is true love and it never falters, even when she's being intimate with multiple bad boys. They make themselves available for these girls whenever and wherever they want. They bring them expensive gifts, give them respect, give her parents respect, and actually are courteous and chivalrous with them. Guys, women hate that thing. They don't want a guy to be all respectful to her. She wants the guy to take the lead and assert his masculinity all over her. That's what turns them on. But the only problem for women is that their beloved bad boys are mostly never financially secure, or have some other problems such as disloyalty. Believe me, it's a woman's dream to make the bad boy into the good guy just for her. It's like a fairy tale come true for them. They get to tame the beast. But that rarely happens in real life. The beast remains a beast for the most of his life, and continues his wild escapades will into his thirties and forties, making him unsuitable for women to settle down with. And this is why, women turn towards the good guys that they had friend-zoned back in college. And these guys are just waiting around the corner to be with the love of their lives. Now, if the option was between a bad guy or an alpha male, between a man who was incredibly attractive, tall, dark, and handsome, but had all the wrong tattoos, made all the wrong decisions, and was the alpha male on the college campus, and a man who would be a successful good guy banker, 99% of women would still choose the bad guy. This is because the bad boy poses a challenge for women. It also brings them adventure and excitement when she's with him. 
He's more adventurous in bed, and in life. He goes after what he wants, doesn't take no for an answer, and knows how to have a good time. But the truth is, the good guy isn't all that daring or masculine in bed. These women cannot get the same delights from that good man as they did from the bad guy. But it's not like the good guy lacks in other departments. He covers all of the expenses related to travel and childcare, and he also contributes to raising the children. He has given this wife a wonderful home and a great car to drive to the mountains with her friends. She likes the good guy, but she doesn't want him with fire in her heart. She despises this man for what he represents in her life. Stability that she never thought she'd have. Because to women, stability is boring. She would rather be with the bad boy, tame him, make him into the good guy, and like an adventurous life. And if she's with the good guy, and wants to be with the bad boy, and this decent man will let her because he isn't or doesn't want to be the dominant one in the relationship. He would tell her, I have faith that you would never act against my orders. I have faith that you would never act in a way that would hurt my feelings. Although they would miss those crazy times, women must settle down with this impoverished beta decent man who is supplying everything she is unable to provide for herself. She likes that person, yes, but she doesn't love them. And that's the situation as it stands. I, if she wants protection and security, she must deal with good guys. If she decides, and most women don't, that she doesn't desire protection and security. Women value believing what makes them feel good. They perceive what they want to perceive and hold the opinions they hold dear. Because of how differently they view the world from men, facts don't matter to them. Good guys are boring to women who just want adrenaline and attention. They're into the boring stuff that only gives them more access to knowledge, education, and building wealth, which is boring for most women. But women keep an eye out for these boring types, because they know one day, their bad boy will probably be working for this boring good guy. But the good guys who have been friend-zoned all their lives should be careful of these women. Because these women will soon get bored, and will eventually start looking for the fun they're used to having. Unfortunately, when they are still in junior high and high school, our culture encourages young females to get wasted and metaphorically sleep with the entire football team in college dorms. They still desire the ability to come out later in life, and portray themselves as spouses or as wife material in spite of this. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support, so please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.